Well, the reason I'm not a big fan of these is because they're so flexible. There's just no oomph to them. There's no quality. So if you see here, this is a, a Mote Tatami here, and it's really stiff. It's much thicker, much heavier, much more difficult to cut in some ways. And these are harder to cut. Why? Because they're flexible. So they don't have resistance. So they don't cut well. They'll break. They'll bend. You can just see that it's just, it's not good. But the reason why people use these is because they're cheaper. They're easier to buy. These might cost $10 a piece. In some cases, 15. These are about four or five dollars each. They will cut, as you can see, but on the last one, you can see that it bends. So you can get some good cuts off of it, but it's not, not great, not great at all. These mat cutting stands, which you can buy online, they do come with a spike, which you can push inside here. And I put tape on it because the tape will hold it just a little bit better. It's still really, really flimsy compared to others. It's just the cut, you know, with tatami, it would be much easier. I'm not gonna cut with this because I haven't soaked it in water. Look at the difference in thickness. You have one that's, you know, two inches thick and this one's four. So you're just gonna get better resistance when you cut. The closer you get to the bottom, there's less bending, less resistance, so it'll cut there. But again, because it's not very thick, it's not the best target. But if you're on a budget, it's not a bad deal to buy these for four or five dollars each. Cheaper alternative is water bottles. The more expensive alternative are these tatami omote mats. And in some cases, $40, $50 for shipping for that, when you can go to Walmart and buy these at the end of the season for, again, 4 or $5 and pay nothing in shipping. So I don't hate pool noodles. I just think that they're a cheap alternative to what we call the classic or traditional Tameshigiri targets. That's a good question. Thanks for asking.